All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the High Thrivers Group Facebook Live. I'm here with um, product, our product team, Michael, Christy, and Taylor. And we're going to walk you guys through some um, new features and how to use them. Um, I just wanted to mention that uh, since our last Facebook Live, we have about 20 new High Thrivers who have joined the group. So welcome to all of you. Um, I think you'll find this to be a great space to share ideas, ask questions, offer some feedback. In this group, everybody here is in here checking on you guys every day. So um, definitely uh, put in your comments, questions, anything, we'll get right back to you. Um, so um, today we're going to walk through the new Thrive Packages feature. Um, and we added this based on feedback from users just like you. So um, we're hoping that you'll really find this to be a great way to create some sales up front um, and uh, collect payment, reduce your risk, while at the same time building some personal loyalty. So with that, I am going to go ahead and turn it over to Christy, um, who's going to walk you through um, the different parts of drive packages. And if you have any questions at all, um, just go ahead and um, post them right underneath us um, in the comments, and we're going to save all those questions for last. So right on over to you, Christy. Thanks, Shelly. Good morning, High Thrivers. It's so nice to be able to talk with y'all today. We love doing these Facebook Lives where we get to enter and um, show you some new stuff. Um, so as you know, packages recently came out and we're super excited to have this kind of offering for you. So this time is really kind of meant to walk through how to set up a package, the different kind of packages that we offer, what it takes to promote them a little bit, and also uh, how easy it is for your clients to be able to redeem them. So I'm gonna walk through just putting, creating a package. So you would do that from your setting screen. Go into coupons and packages here. It'll open on the coupons, but you can uh, toggle over to the packages side. I've got quite a few made. Um, and so we just wanted to walk you through creating a whole new package. So say this is what come, um, the screen comes to when you get to a new package. So you need to know what your offering is going to be uh, and what kind of services that you're going to include. So for instance, um, I'm going to go with um, something called all the tips and all the tricks. So this is a pet grooming service and also they do obedience training. So I want to drive some more traffic to get um, some more obedience training um, classes signed up. So I've created this offer for we can teach your fur teenager. It's meant for all uh, little puppies that are like intermediate where they can get four sessions of training for the price of three. You don't always have to do a discount whenever you're offering a package, but it is a great way to kind of push your client into that uh, piece and get them to, onto a package. For this, I want the four sessions. I can determine how long I want those sessions uh, to be booked in. So for this, they would have three months to book these four sessions. I can make this into a longer amount. I can put it in days, weeks, years, months. For this, I'm gonna choose months. Um, you can customize the package image and that'll pull from our library here where you can upload your own I've got one ready to go with this cute little Frenchie. So I'm gonna save him. That, I love Frenchie, so I think that'll pull a lot of attention to the package. So you wanna pull anything that you think is gonna really bring it in. Uh, so for picking the type of package that you want to promote to your clients. So I'm gonna walk through these a little slowly, uh, and then I'm gonna show you some examples of different ones later for different business categories. I've got them pulled up here. Um, so for a specific service, this is something where you can pick one service and do multiple sessions of it. So say if I wanted to drive if someone to pack, um, to purchase multiple grooming services and I just wanted them to buy like a monthly pass. I have a miniature schnauzer, so I go and get him groomed every two months. So if I were a business, I would offer me a package where I get basic grooming and I would give, um, make it to where I could redeem it for a year and I can go for maybe six sessions. That would be a good idea 
um, if you've got people that groom every two months. Um, so that's a good way to do specific service. Um, and it's just multiple, ser multiple sessions for one service. Um, another option would be an any service. So this option is where you can pick and choose a, between several services, but it's not going, you're not going to be able to define the amount of sessions for each. For instance, for the example, um, this is what I want to do. I want to, I have my obedience training. So I have puppy beginner and I have puppy intermediate. And so I want to do a puppy beginner and a puppy intermediate. That way that my client can pick and choose what where their where their dog is. So like if they need to start off with a beginner class, they've got one session of that. Maybe that's a little too their their dog mastered that. So maybe they want to spend the next three sessions in the puppy training intermediate class. This allows them to kind of self-pace their dog. Or if you have a yoga class, if you have somebody that likes to be able to pick different um, services that are all like the same value. For instance, these two services are both $30. If I were a yoga studio um, and I had, they wanted to buy multiple services and I offered like hot yoga, but then I offered like meditation yoga. If they are all kind of in the same value, but you want to offer a pass where they can pick and choose which ones they want to go to, this would be a really good um, offering for any service. Um, and the third option would be where you have a combination of services, but you get to pick and choose how many sessions they get of each. So say if you had a set schedule that your, um, your clients had to go through, for instance, if it were for events, like if you were uh, in puppy training, they have to do at least two sessions of beginner training, and then they can have two, session, two sessions of intermediate training. So this just makes sure that they get the fundamentals and then they get the, uh, the more advanced session. This allows you to kind of pick and choose what your clients are going to need in order to be successful in their package or in their, uh, for this, it would be events. For other services, it might be uh, for like hair, hair coloring. Like if you're a hair salon, you might do something where they get like a, like a haircut for two sessions and then they maybe get two um, foliage treatments. So it's where they can kind of pick and choose, but here is where you get more defined. Um, for my services, I think I'm just going to go with the puppy trainer beginning and the puppy intermediate. I'm going to let my clients self-pace themselves and I'm going to give four sessions and then I get to define the package price. You'll notice it doesn't give me any, any idea for um, price. I know these are both $30. It's because it's the inner, any, any service. So they're not, uh, it's not going to do a recommended price. When you're in specific service and you're offering, offering a, a certain number and it's got a price and it's, it's the same price uh, across the board, it says a total price should be $360. So I can offer it for a lesser price if I'm going to do a discount. It is the same thing for a combination of services. So if I were to do the $30 puppy, the puppy intermediate and the puppy, it's just not one page. So uh, this is me fumbling about, <laughs> I think it's caching. Here, just give me one more. Oh, it's reading from this other service. This will be uncommon whenever you go through, you'll probably have an idea and stop putting out different examples. So I think I'm confusing. There we go. So when I put it into a combination of services, so if I were to do two here, to here and the price, it'll say the total price would be 120. And then that gives you a good range, um, gauge to go and set the discount. But again, for any service, it doesn't set that price for you. So I know those are both $30, $30 a piece and I'm going to give them a free session. So for four, I'm only going to charge them for three. So that would be $90. I'm going to save that.
And now that's in my package offerings. It's right here. Oh, and if you'll notice, when I went through, there is also a checkbox down at the bottom where it says packages can be purchased online. So as long as that's checked, that's going to show up on my service menu. Another setting you'll want to make sure is also turned on when you set up your service is uh, on your online booking options. You can set if those packages are going to display or not by going to your display options. You can for display and promote packages. If you don't want them to, to display on your package menu, you can choose that option or you can choose a small option like a little link up at the top to show like browse packages or you can enable like a full checkbox off to the right hand side where and you can see preview that. It'll actually show you this checkbox which really promotes the packages. So once you, we click on that, you can see the different packages I have available. And so this is the new package. Once they select learn more, they get to see exactly what is included in the package. So four sessions for $90. Uh, it gives them a roundabout idea for how much per session. Uh, it tells them what classes that they can choose from and it's valid for three months and it gives them the description off to the side. And then if we were to go through and press buy now, it's gonna have them go into the payment screen. So for instance, if we were to go into maybe a couple more uh, ex examples. So say if you were a lawn care company and you wanted to do some package offerings, you could offer a monthly mowing package. So this would be 12 sessions and it's good for 12 months. So it, and it breaks down for them how much each mowing session is. So if you've been doing it previously where you just charge per session, um, this really kind of breaks down and gives you and promotes the value of your service. And it's valid for a year, gives them the description. They can also go back, um, say if they wanted to learn more about like your healthier lawn package. So this would be another any service where your client can pick three sessions and do like a lawn, um, a lawn winter summer service, or they can do a lawn aeration. And both of these services are $120. So they're able to be in this package and make sense for you as a business to offer it as a group package. So it's just offering these, um, these packages and they, you can see where they get a little bit of a discount for the services, but they're only booking three and it's valid for a year and kind of gets that upfront money for packages so that like you, they can contact you in order to book this or they can book it themselves if they're ready to from your online service menu and it'll automatically offer for them to redeem. And I'll show you that in just a second as well. But just kind of walk through some other examples would be um, for if you were a photography company and you wanted to offer like a full wedding package for this one, they're offering two sessions and they get a one session for a wedding photography and one session for an engagement session. So that would be that combination service. And this is where they get a full, if they're, they know exactly what they're paying for each session. And this may or may not be a discount. Um, oh, no, it is. Sorry. It's a $200 discount whenever they package those two services together. And so you do get to see that and the, cl the client sees that. So they see the value in it. Um, so I mentioned hair salons earlier. So you've got your different hair salon services and you've got your packages that are promoted off to the side. Once you click on that, you can see their package offerings. So buy together and save. And once you click that, it tells you you get a manicure and a pedicure. And then um, when you do like treat your hair sessions, it's one of the more expensive packages, but say it's a Brazilian blowout and an ombre by, by a lot, um, by layage. I'm sorry if I'm murdering that, I'm, I'm not good to win hair terms. Um, but for like, you get to see the value and the way that it's kind of applicable across different um, different business verticals. So packages are really, really valuable and like you can promote them in different ways. For instance, you've got the on your services menu here. You can also go into your marketing and you can set up an announcement for them. There is a call to action whenever you create a new announcement. So your purchase package is right here. 
and you can let your client you choose from the whole menu, just like you can from your service menu, or you can select a particular package. So I just made that all tips, all the tips and tri tricks package. If I want to let all my clients know about that, I would create a new announcement for that. And create that, send them out, let them know about my new offering. And then last but not least, just to know about re redeeming and adding a package to a client. So say if I wanted to send to add a package to one of my clients, for instance, I'm going to use Taylor as my example. So Taylor's going to be my client. I want to add a package to her. So you'll go to their client card, click on their payments tab, and then I can add that package. So say, for instance, Taylor was on the phone with me or in this in my location and she was really into the tips and tricks and wanted to get obedience training for her dog, um, Chaka. Um, Chaka. So I would go ahead and select that for her. I would say how it, it defaults for how long the package is available. And I add that. And it's good to go. So it'll actually uh, allow you to enter in like charge your credit card right then or you can record a payment if you took cash or check on like if they were on site for our instance i'm just going to go ahead and have, say she paid me cash i'm going to send her a receipt for today and i'm going to save that so taylor actually just received an email letting her know that she has a new package with me anytime you add a package to a client they're going to get notified via email letting them know that they've got a new package and to go ahead and book that book a service because we want them using those packages. So Taylor can um, go through and book that. Or if you were to go through and I were to add that obedience training, if I wanted to schedule her first one, I could go through, if I had an event for the puppy intermediate and I wanted I had an event coming up on set on tomorrow for it. I could add her. I can add Taylor as a registrant. Continue. Send her that invitation so she'll be there for the class. It shows it's not paid currently, but if I click on this little arrow, it gives me the option to redeem the package. And so I'll redeem that. She shows it's paid. And then whenever I go to Taylor's back to Taylor's contact. You see for all the tips and tricks, she's got used one four, one of four sessions. So it's, it's, it keeps track of everything for you. It's really good. It's easy for you to go through and redeem a package for a client. And then if, um, if we actually want to go over Taylor, do you want to show them the email that you have that you receive so that you can show how easy it is for the client to redeem and how they go through redeeming a package? Yeah, of course. Let me pull that up real quick. <laughs> no worries. Sorry, it's loading. <laughs> Taylor's gonna be demoing the app market here in just a minute. That's where you see that on your screen. So she's gonna walk through some cool tips for QuickBooks. Mm -hmm. And we're excited to be able to show you that but if we have any questions about packages right now, we could go in and, and pull those, um, take those. We sure do. Let's see. All right. Um, are these a la carte services in addition to the package, or are these the services that are included in the package? So the a la carte services, they would have to be something that is already on your service menu. So it would be an, a service that you already offer. Um, and you can choose to display it online or not. Um, how you, it, that really comes down to like how you're gonna promote it. But um, for all the, for once you put the, once they're on your service menu, you'll be able to pull them into a package. So you can kind of define what's a la carte and, um, and what's gonna be bundled together. That's really up, up to you to be able to define that for your clients and how your offering is going to be. Great. Um, okay, we have another one. Um, can you bulk add the pack 
packages to multiple clients or do you have to do them one at a time? Like when you did the option, when you sent one to Taylor, you just- Yeah, there's not a way to hurt. bulk add them that? because it is a purchase is with you, with you each time and you want to respect the purchase and make sure that it's this, this client is getting this package and you go through recording the recording the payment and it's a it's a single transaction with them so it's it's there is no bulk ad option you can send out emails to your clients and have them like a bulk email to let them know about your package and they can um choose to book or buy that package with you but there's no way to bulk add it to a package so this is taylor's screen she's got um she's got the all the tips and tricks package information and details. And you can see it tells her all the details as far as like how long it's valid, what the price was for it, how many sessions she gets. And then when she clicks book a session with this package. It opened on my other screen. <laughs> we got so many screens <laughs> happening so that we could get the screen share app going. Yeah. There you go. See, it opens up the online service menu. And then she can go through and book the puppy intermediate training. And that gives her the option for the one o'clock. Continue. She can have notes if she wants, if she wants to give the, um, the business any details. Oh, I'm already ready. <laughs> I'm already, she's already ready. Hold on. Let me add one more session just so we have it. I'll add a quick session for next week. All right, I've got that added. If you refresh your screen, you'll be able to see it. Okay. So for the 25th. Cool. And Chaka could definitely use some training. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And then I'm going to hit continue and then apply package or, and then that's it. And then it even showed me my remaining packages that I had left as well. And it's that easy for your clients and in, and they don't have to go to the package. Like they don't have to access their packages from that email. Anytime they go into the, your service menu, they're going to be able to see, um, the service menu recognizes your clients. You, 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 whenever um, Taylor was logged in, it noticed her email, it recognized her. So it was able to apply the package. So just them going to your service menu will um, make it to where they can apply any package that they have for you. But do we have any more questions about packages or how to redeem them or questions about different types? I have one more question for you. Um, is the package option only available to certain product packages? Every time I try to make a package, it prompts me to upgrade. It, yes, it would be available for the Thrive Unlimited Professional and the Plus package. So if you like, I can talk with you offline and um, go into more depth. If you, um, if you need to, I'll contact you after this live and we can go into different options for you. All right. That was Candice, and you'll see her in the comments. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> I think we're going to move on over to Taylor, who's going to um, walk us through what's happening in the apps market. Hi. Um, yeah, so we're just going to go over the app market today. If you haven't dove into the app market quite yet, uh, the reason why we created the app market is uh, we wanted users to be able to like easily integrate the tools that they're using every day. Um, and what, instead of having to go outside of the app market and build your own integration. Um, the app market with Thrive, you know, is really easy to use. Um, and we're going to demonstrate that today. Um, but when you go to the app market, you'll see um, some of the apps that we have coming soon inside of here. Um, we have Clover, which is coming soon. Um, Gmail, our Gmail plugin, which is coming um, down the pipeline very soon. Um, QuickBooks desktop as well. Um, but today we're going to go over how easy it is to integrate with uh, QuickBooks Online. 
And the benefit of integrating is it saves you time because it syncs all of these variety of apps sync data like your customers and your invoices and your estimates and your payments, or they add additional functionality, functionality uh, like for example, Yext Advance gives you additional information on your listings online. Um, so all of those are super easy to use. Um, so to begin uh, for the QuickBooks Online, all we have to do is simply click get this app, but it's also really good to go inside of your QuickBooks and go to maybe your customers and just make sure that all of the information that you have on your customers is in there. Um, because what the QuickBooks app is gonna do, which is what I'll show you, is it's going to initially sync all of your customers between Thrive and QuickBooks. And then once we have it installed, it's gonna automatically sync over your invoices, payments, and estimates um, to QuickBooks from Thrive. So right here, it's just um, requesting my permission to um, access my QuickBooks account. So from here, all I have to do is click connect to QuickBooks. And then it asked me permission, so I'm just gonna click connect. And then from here, I have the option to configure uh, what I want to sync over. So what I, do I want it to uh, do a current sync of my customers between Thrive and QuickBooks? Do I want to sync over all of my future Thrive customers to QuickBooks? Same with invoices, payments, and estimates. Um, it's going to uh, give me all of those options. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sync over everything. So it's as easy as that. So now that I have selected for um, all of that to sync over and I selected clients to sync over, it's automatically working in the background and syncing all of my customers over. And once that, once that sync is finished, then I'm gonna automatically get an inbox message inside of my Thrive that will let me know when it's done. Um, and then now that I have added it to my list of apps, you can see it right here underneath my apps. Um, and so like I said, it's super easy to do. It saves you a lot of time because they're commonly used tools that you're already using um, and they can automatically integrate with your Thrive. Um, and we are constantly taking requests for the app market. Be sure to share your feedback um, down here inside of the resource center on like apps that maybe you want to see inside of the app market. Um, just recently, we had a request come in to add estimates to QuickBooks Online, and we were able to see that request and uh, put that enhancement in because your feedback is extremely important, and we want to know what you're wanting and what enhancements um, you'd like us to make. Um, and so that's a that's that's about it uh, for the app market. If we have any questions, yes, we do. Um... Will the QuickBooks desktop be available this year? I'm really looking forward to this coming out. This question from Linda. Um, so we are currently working on it. It's gonna take a little bit of time. I'm not exactly sure what the time frame is because uh, we're working on Clover and Gmail as well. Um, but I'll definitely send you a follow-up email uh, about the general timeline for QuickBooks desktop. Yeah, and I, and I think just in terms of the development we're, we're hoping for it so at, yeah. at least that's what we're looking to see that's going to happen but as soon as we get that exact date because we'll know once we um are starting to finish up we'll we update everyone especially if you commented on this for sure mm -hmm. um, and then, and then uh, actually taylor that brings up a good point oh, sorry i was going to say you can good. actually uh, people can go into the app and actually click notify correct when an app is released yeah yeah, so you can actually go inside of here and click notify me. And whenever this app is released, you'll get a notification um, that it's been released um, and ready to set up. So. Uh, follow up question Will it duplicate customers from QuickBooks and Thrive customers? Um, so the way that it recognizes your customers is by the email. And so that's why the email is very important. Um, and that's why you want to kind of check these. Um, customers inside of your QuickBooks and Thrive to make sure that you have that email so it doesn't duplicate those. And also to make sure that you have 
all of the additional um, information in there. So like first name, last name, all of that information, either in your Thrive, well, your Thrive requires an email, but um, inside of QuickBooks is extremely important. And we even inside of the, if you look inside of the app, uh, we detail all of that inside of here. Um, but also, uh, Christy has created like an excellent installation guide um, inside of our help center that goes over like frequently asked questions and best practices. And it's definitely super important to read um, before you install. Yes, and there's a lot of screenshots in there to kind of get set up your expectation for how it's going to look because that's going to be your main concern when yeah. you're trying when you're integrating two apps. Like, what is it going to do? What's the expectation? And that's what this whole article is for to kind of show you through like this is what it looks like in Thrive, this is what it looks like in QuickBooks. Because I know anytime that I'm trying to when I'm thinking about integrating two things, I want to know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So this article is going to give you like I went super into detail to make sure that you knew everything that was going to happen before it happened. So please look at that article if you have any reservations or questions. And then of course you can always put it in the Facebook group and Taylor and I are more than happy to answer. Great. Um, speaking of how to's, um, what does the Zoom plugin do with Thrive? Uh, so the Zoom plugin is basically just inside the app market to provide you a link to sign up for Zoom. Um, so we just added that in there um, so you can easily go in there and uh, sign up. Okay, great. I think that is it for the questions at this time anyway. I think there was one more, which was, uh, I think uh, someone was asking about some customers don't have emails. Uh, okay. um, and just to kind of touch on that. So in order to keep both systems in sync and that way there's not duplicates, um, that is a requirement between the two systems because that is the only unique way that QuickBooks allows us to sync up that data and thrive. So that is, that is a requirement in order to bring over the client data is to have that email address. So that way that you don't run into duplicate contacts or an invoice or estimate going through the wrong contact. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, all right. Um, I think that's it for the demo. Um, if anybody has any other questions, there we go. All four of us up there. <laughs> um, please go ahead and keep uh, popping your questions in the comments. But um, meanwhile, let's um, ask Michael about some other things that we're looking forward to. Yeah. So, uh, Taylor, Christy, that was fantastic. Thanks for, for all that info. And it's, it's always fun to see the live demos and you always cross your fingers when it's live to, to see what happens, right? Mm -hmm. um, so so as usual, uh, what we wanna do with these sessions is give you guys the insider look. So we appreciate you being part of this High Thriver group, providing us feedback, uh, you know, asking questions. And so we wanna kind of give you those sneak peeks at the end of these sessions of what's coming down the line that uh, we haven't actually fully announced yet to all users. So. Um, I just thought I would kind of share some of those items with you that's happening over the next couple of months. Um, with these, we are working on the exact dates right now. So as soon as we have them, Christy and Taylor will be um, sending up updates in the Facebook group. And then we'll also be putting some in-app messages inside your Thrive as well. So you have more information. But um, to start off, uh, one that we're really excited for that, um, that was a big feedback request as well um, is project management. So inside your Thrive today, you know, you have one CRM contact, that person is all the information that happens there. So they make the one payment, uh, you put all your notes on that one person, but you know, say for example, I myself have, have two dogs. Uh, so when I go to the vets, they have to associate everything to Michael Greenberg, but what about actually associating everything to say a pet inside of my Thrive software? So Dio would actually have all of his appointments associated to him and then Chloe, would be my other pet and that would in a sense be a project or a you know a way to kind of look at a way to house everything that's associated to that one animal um so this is going to go across all all the verticals um so if you are you know say a roofer and you have someone who uh rents multiple homes you can make each home uh, a job so we're really excited to see that and it's going to be a really a new way of thinking about how you manage um the different clients inside your Thrive and you can really um, be able to organize everything in a much different way to make it easier for you to manage your business. Um, the next thing is um, new types of payments. So we're adding on some new features and some new forms of payments. 
Um, so for example, one of these big benefits, once again, that we received a lot of um, feedback for is, hey, you know, I really want to take ACH inside of my Thrive account as a payment, not just record it as ACH. Uh, not only, uh, especially for some of those high dollar, you know, jobs um, or cases, um, but it just makes it easier because sometimes people just want to pay with their banking accounts. So that's going to be something that's coming up here down the line, um, along with some other cool new features inside that sales section that we'll be launching. So we'll make sure, once again, you guys are kind of the first to know about all of that. So we're really excited to share that with you. Uh, Taylor touched on this inside of the app market. Uh, just a cool one to call out, which is that Gmail plugin and integration. Um, you know, we understand that just because you get into your Thrive software on day one doesn't mean you definitely you all of a sudden change doing business how you were before and that you may still have clients that are emailing you into Gmail and maybe not interacting with Thrive yet. So uh, this new plugin will allow you to kind of be able to have see your contacts inside your, your Gmail account and then kind of sync up that data or change that data or bring over that client into your into your Thrive. So that's really exciting. Um, and, th and then with that, we're going to look to offer uh, domain-based email off of Gmail if you have one of our Thrive sites. So more info on that to come. Um, and then another another great one, which is just, you know, I, I think the trend here of what we're announcing is a lot of how do we make your lives easier? Is, at least that's our goal. Um, and so we've received a lot of requests for item and product list management. Um, so right now you can go in um, and you can manage your services. Um, but what you can't do is you have those, if you have items on your invoice, you have to manage it from there. We've received a lot of People who said, hey, it'd be great if we could have one spot to actually go in and edit or maintain our different items or products. That's not a service. Um, so we're looking right now to build out um, an actual item list that you can manage within your Thrive. So that's really exciting. All right, great. Um, we have a question. How about applying payment to an invoice when the customer just pays us but not the invoice? That is a fantastic question and one that we have received a lot. So you are right there. It's not just you. Uh, that is something that is um, looking to be worked on. So we've actually already started kind of discussing that as a team. We don't have an ETA yet just because we kind of have these, these big four items that we're working on right now. But um, that is something that is already being scoped out and, and being put on the roadmap. Um, that, because it's just it'll just make your life easier because you do have some of those clients that may just jump in and make a payment and not necessarily associate to the invoice that you sent out. All right, great. Um, let's take that wraps it up for, for now. Um, please, you guys, be sure that you keep um, putting questions in the High Thrivers group. Like I said before, we're all here to um, help and support you in any way that we can. Um, Christy and Taylor are really wonderful about jumping in right away and um, getting you guys on the on the right path. Um, and I guess that will do it for us today. We'll see you next month. Um, and let us know any feedback, anything else you'd like us to cover, and we'll see you then. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.